Our court system was already struggling with a backlog of cases waiting for trial, but the pandemic and the city's surge in violent crime is adding to that caseload. News 13's Ann Perrette shows you how the courts and the DA's office are gearing up for a very busy 2022. He concealed his gun, he turned and he fired. Video and witnesses made a clear case against the man who shot and killed UNM baseball's Jackson Weller. But the case didn't go to trial until last month, two and a half years after the arrest of Darian Bashir. We find the defendant guilty of first degree murder. It's clear Bernalillo County's district court is playing catch up. The crime problem plus COVID-19 restrictions equals a backlog of cases. As a result, the court says it's working to increase jury trials each week in the new year. With cases involving suspects behind bars accused of the most serious violent crimes like murder prioritized. Not unlike the health care system, we end up triaging. So we have to focus on the most serious, the most dangerous, the most violent things first. In an interview with KRQE's New Mexico News podcast, DA Raul Torres shares the toll the high volume of murder cases is taking on his already understaffed team of prosecutors. Homicide prosecutions are very labor intensive. They take a lot of work. They take a lot of follow up investigation and they take a lot of experience to handle correctly. But he says the experienced prosecutors in his office are overwhelmed, dealing with more than 40 cases at a time. And we have so much violent crime and homicide work to get through that we have no choice but to assign some of those cases to good prosecutors, but prosecutors who are still learning their way. On top of that, the homicide caseload continues to grow. In 2021, the city of Albuquerque shattered its previous record, with police investigating 108 murders this year. APD says it has solved 40. While it'd be ideal to get those cases to trial quickly, APD says the cases going to trial now are for 2019 murders. We're facing some serious challenges in the office. Ann Perrette, KRQE News 13. District Court may also push to make settlement conferences between prosecutors and defense attorneys mandatory in order to facilitate plea deals to help overcome that backlog.